Have you ever spent hours searching the internet, trying to find the best deal on flights, the perfect product reviews, or gathering contact information for a project, or maybe you're a creator? and struggle to research and find those juicy trending topics. It can be super frustrating, right? Trust me, it's never-ending struggle. You find yourself jumping from one website to another, copying and pasting data, and before you know it, you've lost hours of your day. But imagine if there was a way to automate all of that tedious work and get the information that you need in just a few minutes. Well, guess what? there is. And today I'm going to save you tons of time and effort. So stick around because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what web scraping is and how it works and how to keep it all nice, clean and legal. All right, so what exactly is web scraping? Sounds weird, right? Well, in simple terms, web scraping is like having a super efficient assistant who goes through different websites, grabs the information that you need and organizes it neatly for you. Imagine you're trying to compare prices for a new phone. Now, instead of visiting each website one by one, copying prices and then pasting them into some spreadsheet or document, web scraping can do all of that automatically. So in practice, a web scraper is a tool or a program that sends a request to a website just like your browser does when you visit a page. But instead of displaying the web page, the scraper fetches the data from the site. It then parses this data, which means that it looks for specific pieces of information like prices, product names or reviews and stores it in a structured format like a spreadsheet or a database. Think of it like this. If you were at the library and needed to find quotes from several books, you'd normally browse each book, find the quote and write it down. A web scraper is like a librarian who does all of that for you super quickly and hands you a neat list of quotes. It might sound a bit technical, but don't worry. Let me give you some real life examples just to make it even easier to understand. So first up, let's talk about price comparisons. Imagine you're planning a trip and you need to book a flight. Instead of visiting multiple airline websites and travel portals, a web scraper can visit those sites for you, gather the flight details and present you with a list of cheapest options. This way you can easily compare prices and choose the best deals without wasting hours on research. Or let's say you're writing a blog and need to gather the most relevant news. A web scraper can pull the latest articles from multiple news websites and compile them into one convenient feed. This way you get a comprehensive overview without having to visit each news site individually. And if you are, for instance, working on a project that requires gathering contact information, such as email addresses or phone numbers from different websites, web scraping can be a game changer. It can quickly compile all the necessary contact details into a spreadsheet, again saving you countless of hours of manual entry. So as you can see, web scraping has a ton of practical applications that can make your life a lot easier. But is it legal? Well, it's a good question, because when we are gathering information from websites automatically, you're essentially using the data without manual input. In a way, it's no different to what YouTube or Facebook or even Expedia does with the cookies. So web scraping itself is not illegal. Just like driving a car is not illegal. But as with everything, there are important legal considerations that you need to keep in mind. Just because you can drive, it doesn't mean that you don't have to follow traffic rules, drive on sidewalks and through parks, or ram into things that are in your way. The same goes for web scraping. You need to respect the terms of service or terms of use of the website that you're scraping. These terms can vary from site to site and may explicitly prohibit or restrict automated access to their data, in which case, back to manual work. Secondly, certain types of data are protected by the copyright or other intellectual property rights. So if you are scraping content that's copyrighted or proprietary without permission, that could land you in legal trouble. Thirdly, some websites use technical measures to prevent scraping, like CAPTCHA or IP blocking. And attempting to bypass these measures can violate the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act in the US and similar laws in other countries. That said, many websites allow web scraping under certain conditions, especially for non-commercial use or with their explicit permission. At the end of the day, it's always a good idea to check a site's robot.txt file 
which tells web crawlers like the search engines and scrapers which pages they are allowed to access. Now to find out more about that, once you finish this video, head over to our blog. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. So while web scraping itself can be a powerful tool, it's essential to stay within legal boundaries and respect the rights of the website owners. Just because something makes things easier, it should still be done with consideration of the wider picture. By the way, if you want to learn more about how websites attempt to block web scraping and how to deal with it and do it the right way, again, check out our blog. I'll put the link in the description and I'll pin it into the first comment as well. So while web scraping automates the collection of data from websites, saving you time and effort by quickly gathering information like prices, reviews and contact details, it's crucial to respect each website's terms of service and follow ethical guidelines to ensure responsible use. So go out and explore web scraping further if it aligns with your needs. Whether you're interested in monitoring prices, conducting research or automating data collection, there are plenty of resources and tools available to help you to get started. If you struggle to find the best tools though, reach out either to us here on the YouTube channel or on our website and we'd be happy to help you. Well, anyway, I hope it helps. It has helped me to save a ton of time, but you need to know how to do it. For that, again, reach out, comment below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.